Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my Stardew Valley playthrough where I am only selling cooked food. We are entering into spring year two and if you haven't checked out the rest of the series, you can feel free to go and take a look at that. But we're going to get right into spring. Okay, my farm looks like I just stepped out spring year one. It is a mess and we got to look after this. Why have you awakened me from my three month slumber? Well, my farm is a mess and I could really use help cleaning it up. Hey, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna gift Kent Iridium Crystal Fruit. The rest of the villagers that I need to befriend can still get crocuses. Once Pierre opens up, I'm gonna go and get, uh, actually I can go and get the seeds that I need from him right now. I'm gonna try to buy all of the spring seeds that I need for the rest of the recipes that I need to cook, plus some extra seeds for things that I'm gonna wanna sell right away. The main thing I'll be selling in spring will be triple shot espresso. Alrighty, so I have six blue jazz seeds for bean starter, nine kale seeds, two garlic, and 20 parsnips. I'm gonna try to get the quality parsnips out of the 20 parsnips and hope that that happens, um, and which means I should put down some fertilizer for those. Oh, my animals get to be outside. Aren't they so happy? I want to get to the desert to befriend Sandy, but I don't have enough money to today. But if I were to sell one triple shot espresso, I could go tomorrow. So maybe I'll do that. Just one. And hopefully tomorrow will be a good luck day and I can actually do some Skull Cavern stuff. What a beautiful farm plot. Alright, I want my coffee beans up in this top corner over here. So that I can see and access them easily. Because they're going to be ready throughout the spring and summer. And I want to see them when they're ready. The green beans kind of get in the way of everything. So I'm going to put them along this kind of edge here, I think. And hope that that doesn't come back to bite me. Okay, the parsnips I want on quality fertilizer. Might as well put those up in this top corner here. Oh, yikes, that's terrible. What? Ah, two little spots for garlic. Perfect. Some kale, some blue jazz, and some rhubarb. And that's my little farm. And that's our first day of spring complete. That is quite possibly the least amount of money we've made in one night. No! Damage! What did they damage? Okay, it doesn't look like they damaged anything that's important, so that's okay. Um, I asked my unpaid laborer if he wouldn't mind getting those cauliflower seeds from the community center that I threw in the pond the other time. Um, so we're gonna plant nine cauliflower as well. Oh, I gotta check the luck for today too. Ooh, an iridium quality milk. Nice. One of my cows loves me. Oh, wonderful. Okay, it is a pyramid day. Pyramid day, so it's not awful, but it's not great, but I'll probably still wind up popping into Skull Caverns when I go and see Sandy. Mostly what I'm looking for from Skull Caverns is a lucky rabbit's foot. I did not bring any bombs. That was a not smart decision on my part. Oh, I also should have brought my prismatic shard so that I could get the galaxy sword. Well, let's give this a try. Hopefully it's not awful. I think I need to get better at my timing or something. Nice little diamond. Aquamarine. Ooh, a pink cake jelly. I have to see if I can get that one. Yay, my unpaid laborer called the Dougie population. Get those dang Duggies. If I need to leave quick, I will. Because I'm literally on floor three. Yep, I do. Yes, get out of there. I feel so ill prepared for this area of the game. Oh no. Although an infestation might make it more likely for me to get a rabbit's foot. Leave me alone, you. I think as long as I don't get too many at once, I'll be okay. Uh, that might be too many at once. Okay, no rabbit's foot, but I did get two ladders. Oh, a farm warp totem. Nice. 
Okay, so it looks like I cannot get past this infested floor 3 without fighting all the monsters. I suppose fighting is a pretty big part of Haunted Chocolatier, so I guess I should probably get decent at it in Stardew. Okay, I have a far more of Totem, so I'll use that, but I want to get down this floor at least. Oh no, a snake. There we go. Alrighty, time to go. Five iridium, though. That's not bad. It's enough for a bar. Ooh, it's a star drop day. Maybe I'll run to the desert again. I'll have to sell a uh, triple shot espresso to Pierre, though. So that's two iridium bars. Not bad. It's Wednesday. I won't be able to get... I'll take some of my diamonds to trade in for spicy eel. Oh, this time I'm going to take my bombs. So one triple shot espresso almost buys me a full ticket to the bus. Aw, oh, stink. I can't go today. Because Pierre isn't open, so I can't sell him my triple shot espresso. And I don't think I can sell it at Joja either. Nope. They don't want to buy it from me. Oh shoot, I haven't done the beach in like days. Where did we land on this quest board thing? Is it a go or a no? Well, I don't really want to do either of those ones, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, my little eel babies, be happy. Is this not what you wanted? Oh, there we go. Yay! I'm gonna sell this triple shot espresso so that I'll actually be able to go to the beach next time I want to go. So that I'll actually be able to go to the desert next time I go. Good catch. Next time I want to go. I mean, both of them have sand. Is there really much of a difference? There is a mystic node in the quarry. Ooh, I should go pick that up. Ooh, wonderful. A ruby. Yes, thank you. That is excellent. All right, another 450. Gotta check the look. Is that a pyramid? I think that's a pyramid. Yes. Mm -mm. It's probably close enough to be able to go to Skull Caverns. Though I'm realizing I gifted Sandy twice this week already, so maybe I'll wait until next week to go back to Skull Caverns so I can optimize my trips. Maybe the next thing I'll buy is an apple tree. But I also want an upgraded barn. There you are, Kent. Oh my goodness, it's his birthday. Wow, that's really fortunate that we gifted him on today. I should probably fill my silo up again now that winter is over. Guess I could go and get the golden scythe now too. Maybe I'll do that first. I also need to get my combat up to level 9 at the least. Because at level 9 combat I get squid ink ravioli. And I'm going to need to make that. But also considering that like in Haunted Chocolatier fighting is a huge part of it. I think I should probably get my combat level up anyways. And there's that swirly moonstone. Ooh, iridium and gold. I think that having the way you get the golden scythe come and get it from this like death fountain here is such a great design choice. I think it's quite wonderful. Ooh, bat day. I should, yes, parsnips are ready. Two gold quality, three gold quality, four gold quality, five gold quality. Oh, and my garlic is ready too. Well, now what do I plant here? Oh, 12 gold quality parsnips. Wonderful. I think there's a recipe that takes parsnips. So I'm going to check out what I need to make that. And maybe I'll just wind up planting more parsnips. Farmer's lunch takes an omelet and a parsnip or parsnip soup, which takes a milk of vinegar and a parsnip. I'll not be making parsnip soup. Hmm. I'll probably just wind up gifting these parsnips to Pam. To be honest. Maybe I'll plant some more kale. Kale's not that expensive. And I can use it to make that salmon dinner. What are you doing way over here, my guy? My gal? I don't think I milked the cows yesterday because I forgot to get my milking pail. Sold my pink cake and a triple shot espresso. Well, actually I think it was four triple shot espressos and I got some kale seeds back. 
Oh, shoot. I forgot that I had two garlic seeds. Oh, well. I'm gonna come by this stone walkway floor from Robin. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of work on making my farm look presentable. I don't actually usually beautify my farm, but let's try to make it at least functional. My little kitchen in the woods. More rubies. Sweet. I'm not sure I'm loving the look, but it'll be functional for now anyways. Oh, I didn't check the cart yesterday. That was a big oopsie. Oh, that's what I could plant, is the mixed seeds. Alright, that at least gives us a clear way through there. Three new rubies. Six diamonds. I'm hoping that tomorrow will be a good enough luck day to go to the mines. Or, sorry. Hoping tomorrow will be a good enough luck day to go to Skull Caverns. Hmm. That day. Guess I better not. Sweet. I learned how to cook pizza. Oh, the rice! I need to plant the rice. Whew. Good thing I caught that. Alright, I'm already two hearts with Kent. I think it helps that I gave him an Iridium liked gift on his birthday. Oh! And apparently today is Lewis's birthday. Look at me go! Here, Pam. Have a gold star quality parsnip. Oops. Oops, again. There we go. This is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You are welcome, Pam. Alright, let's take a look-see. We are full with George, full with Clint, full with Willie. We don't need any more from Linus, or Marnie, or Robin, or Gus, or Evelyn, and we just reached with Lewis because of that birthday gift, so that's good. We don't need any more with Carolyn. Alrighty. So we are one heart away with Demetrius, one heart away with Jody, two hearts away with Emily, two hearts away with Pierre and Pam, quite a few with Shane. I think that's four hearts away with Shane. And we're at two hearts with Kent, so we still need five more from him, five more from Sandy, and then Leo we haven't even started befriending yet. So we're doing pretty good on the friendship side of things. Once we get access to the island, we're gonna have to just like try to get a mango sapling right away, or figure out something else that Leo likes. Would you rather I mine iron or fish all day? It's a good question. Let me check our iron. Ooh, I got level 9 farming. Sweet. Lewis taught me how to make eggplant parm. And our blue jazz is ready. I get around 40 iron with my basic pick and no bombs. Um, I mean, probably fishing would be helpful. I think we have a decent amount of iron right now. Oh, gotta check the look. Star drop. I am gonna go to Skull Caverns. Okay, bombs, food, warp totem, thing to get my sword, pickaxe, we're looking good. Ooh, and get my galaxy sword, wonderful. See if we can't do a bit better today than the other days. Well, come over here then, you. Dang, I don't know if that fortune teller was correct. Ooh, a hole. That's a lot of serpents. Look at me go. Hardly took any damage. I think I got a couple spicy eels out of the deal. Oh, nope. Oh, I got a bomb, I think. Ooh, it's a cloth. Not like I actually need that a ton anymore. Alright, drop me a lucky rabbit's foot. Nope. Probably need to plan on eating a spicy eel and coming, and then maybe I'll get a lucky rabbit's foot. That's not how luck works. Well, I would like that to be how luck works. Probably almost time for me to teleport home. 
Okay. Oh, my unpaid labor is just getting in too. Uh, nice, mining level six. Now I can make the big bombs. And combat level six. Fisherman achievement. Everybody say congrats, unpaid laborer. Maybe I should. Oh no, they are. They are producing. Maybe I should make another. Um. What are those things called? Battery catcher. Lightning rod. Maybe I should make another lightning rod. An apricot. Wonderful. Emily wants that. Ooh, and an apple. Beautiful. 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 That lightning hit one of my trees. I did not even know lightning could do that. Oh. Another one. Another piece of lightning must have struck uh, my floor. Wild. There we go. I did set up some more lightning rods. Oh shoot. I was going to give her the amethyst. Oh well. Nice, six hundred dollars from Emily. Oh, I think that that's as far as I need to get with Emily. Oh, yikes! I haven't gifted Carolyn at all. Oh, I don't need to. Oh, Emily taught me to make red plate. I think it's time to set up a cookout kit and try to get the next barn upgrade. I need twelve thousand dollars. Ooh, I gotta make that maki roll. My rice, my seaweed, and any fish. I'm gonna use some of this milk to make pop possibly chowder. I just have so many clams sitting around and that's really the only thing I can do with them but I don't know if that's the best use of my milk. Set up my cookout kit in my little makeshift kitchen. Can I not put it on floor? Oh that's so strange. I bet Autumn's bounty is Demetrius not Lewis. It is and I'm not quite there with him yet. Do I not know the maki roll recipe? But apparently I do not. How's that possible? Because it was Queen of Sauce summer... Yeah. Queen of Sauce summer year one. And I haven't missed any. Maybe I'll have to buy it from Gus? Hmm. I'll be back. I even checked the Queen of Sauce today and it gave me pancakes. I'll get hash browns on Sunday, but I'm just gonna buy this maki roll recipe because... For whatever reason, it didn't want to give it to me. Unless I'm misunderstanding how the Queen of Sauce works. I thought it, like, gave you recipes that you didn't have on Wednesdays. So if I'm getting reruns, the game should think that I know all of the recipes. Very strange. But there we go. Ooh, I got the cook achievement on my Maki roll. How nice is that? Get my pale broth. Well, at least get rid of these clams. Oh. Cannot forget to make my triple shot espresso. That's the money maker. Right there. Oh, I could also make some plum pudding. Maybe I should do that. Oh no, I don't have sugar. Sashimi is still the thing that I can make the most of the easiest. And probably always will be. Perfect. Wow. I have enough sashimi there to more than buy the barn. That's pretty fantastic. So if I sell half of my sashimi tonight, that'll be enough to buy me my barn. What are all you doing here? Those are probably things my unpaid laborer bought that didn't fit, er, <clears throat> those are probably fish my unpaid laborer caught that didn't fit in my other chest. Sell this 161 sashimi. Boom. Let's take a little run to the community center, drop off these three things. Okay, I'm missing three apples from the fodder bunder. The blah. Three apples from the fodder bundle. I'm missing one rabbit's foot from the enchanter bundle. I'm missing the fiddlehead fern and the truffle from the chef's bundle. And I'm missing the red cabbage from the dye bundle. So bulletin board is getting really close. About to put in my quality parsnips, which will finish off that bundle. And that gives me my preserve jar, which lets me make, which lets me make jam. I don't really need jam anymore, though. So I need either a goat's milk, a wool, or a duck egg. I need two of these three. Probably going to buy a goat.
just because that'll make getting the goat's milk easier. And then I'm hoping to get wool from Emily in the mail at some point. And then maybe I'll find wool or um, the duck egg at the cart as well. That's kind of my plan for the animal bundle. Oh, the salmon dinner. That's what else I was going to make today. Strange that you can't put the cookout kit down on the um, on the path blocks. I guess it's supposed to be like cooking out away from home, but I did not expect that. Seven salmon dinner. More sashimi. It was a pretty big day for cooking, though. We cooked a bunch of new recipes that we hadn't... Well, we cooked one new recipe that we hadn't made before. Oh, and the triple shot espresso and the maki roll, which I don't have shown here. We have a bunch of food that's just ready to be turned into money, so that's exciting. Tomorrow we should be able to upgrade our barn. Perfect. $12,000 almost exactly. Guess we sold one sashimi too many. That's okay. We'll use that $75 somewhere. Star drop day. I will grab a flower. Ooh. And go to the desert. Shucks. Yay, Kent taught me how to make crispy bass. Oh, and Mayor Lewis gave me for $500. Very convenient that he gave me that after I saw him and Marnie. Hmm. Because I want to get to the desert, I'm just going to throw in some of these. Next time I'll probably do some kale. This time let's remember to bring my diamonds and my rubies. Leave a couple diamonds at home. I got some bombs. But let's make some more. Oh, and let's not forget a flower. For the desert flower. Ooh, cringe. Let's not forget a flower for Sandy. I think today I might actually even eat one of my spicy eel. I know, it's wild, eating the only source of money that I have, but I think it'll probably be worth it. Okay, let's check. Sword, pick. I don't really need my axe, so maybe I'll leave that here. Bombs, food, flower for the lady. Ready to go. And Pam will get here pretty soon. Do not want to lose these if I die, but I'll keep two spicy eel. Here you are. Three hearts already. Probably could have used the smaller bomb there. Oh well. Ooh, nice. A miner's treat. Ooh, and a hole. Pink cake. I need to come on a Sunday sometime so I can get some ladders. Nice, two iridium. Oh, and a ladder. Oh, a treasured room! Oh, 15 cactus seeds. I'll take that over some sap. Oh, there's a hole there, but there's a ruby here. It's a ruby here, which is worth a spicy eel. Nice, down to floor 23 today. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, ladder. Oh, nice. I feel like my serpent drops have been pretty abysmal this whole time. Oh, man. That was rough. I'm just going. I will get another serpent at another time. An iridium bar. What I need is $10,000 for the bag upgrade. Maybe that's what I'll use some of my sashimi for. Ooh, iridium. Don't be a crab. Nice. I think aside from the rabbit's foot, we actually don't need to be in Skull Caverns anymore. Maybe this guy will give me crab cakes. Nice, he did. Oh, shoot. I didn't go talk to Robin about my barn, which means I actually have tons of money to lose. So I need to make sure I don't pass out tonight. Alrighty. 
that's my cue to leave. If I put some stuff in right now, I can actually get the bag upgrade tomorrow. 10,050. Perfect. Buy one coop and one barn. Nope. Buy one barn and one bag upgrade today. And it's raining. I'm gonna buy one barn and one bag upgrade today. I should put some coffee beans away to make sure that I have some to plant in case I need them next summer. It's been a very rainy spring. I kind of love it. Second things first. Grab the stuff that I'm gonna need when I go see Robin. Alright, Robin. Yes, I am soaked. And I would like you to build me a big barn, please. Grab this backpack. Yes, please. Thank you. I also didn't go to the beach yesterday, but um, also yesterday was like a get to Skull Caverns as quick as possible kind of day. Wow, that is quite amazing that I managed to hit Kent and Lewis's birthday completely accidentally. Okay, Pam's is this month, and Shane's is this month, and Emily's, and Pierre's. Okay, end of the month, a lot of important birthdays. Could make some more crab pots. Get that sashimi flowing. That sweet, sweet sashimi. Yep, I just need two more Viridian bars. I think. I think it's only five to repair the boat. Ten more crab pots in theory is $750 more per day. That's not factoring in the clams, though. I won't be able to check those fish crab pots tomorrow. I won't be able to check my crab pots tomorrow because of the festival. So that's, uh, unless I do it at night. I might be able to do it after the festival. And there's my last two iridium that I need. It looks like my rice is ready too. Thank you, George, for the stone. Where he got it from, I'm not too sure. Problem is, if I win the egg festival again this year, I think it's going to give me a thousand dollars. And I don't think I want to make money that way. Hey, this year I have enough to buy flamingi. And actually a way of making money. Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay, let's talk to all the people that I still need to befriend. Demetrius, Jody, Emily, Shane, Pam, Kent, and of course we also need to talk to Pierre. I will participate, but I will not win this here. Probably going to be stinking Abigail, unless I stop her. I actually don't mind Abigail, I think she's one of the better bachelorettes. Let's go. Abigail, congratulations. Hash browns. Nice. With this rhubarb, that is all of the spring crops that I will need. <gasps> There's a duck egg. Perfect. Okay, 380. Gotta go sell some stuff. Do I turn the duck egg into a duck or do I just put it into the community center? I want to keep like $500 around just in case I need to get to the desert on a Wednesday and I forget to sell stuff the night before. Oh, well, don't stand in my way if you don't want to get to terrible gift. Duck egg. Perfect. The only reason it would be nice to have a duck around is it'll drop feathers which I could give to Leo as gifts. Until I could get a mango tree which he loves mangoes and he loves duck feathers. So we'll see if I wind up upgrading my coop again to be able to have another bird in there. Which I'll probably need to do anyways because I'm pretty sure I need some void mayonnaise. I think I need to buy some more kale though, for sure. I think Robin will be done my barn tomorrow. If I can get $29,000 tonight, I can buy a goat and upgrade my barn tomorrow. Let's see what I have to sell. Let's sell what I've got and see how far it gets me. Ah, uh, 24,000. So not quite enough for the goat and the barn upgrade. Need a thousand more for the barn itself. That's not bad, not bad. That triple shot espresso though, that's a good one. Salmon dinner's not bad either. Maybe I set up another cookout kit. Sell some stuff to Pierre for, for the goat and the barn upgrade. <laughs> See if Robin's done working on it. Oh, there's the Autumn's Bounty recipe. Thank you, Demetrius. Okay, looks like Robin is done on my barn. 
So I will set up a cookout kit to buy the goat and the next upgrade. Could make some cheese collie, I think. Make some maki roll, some cheese collie, some triple shot espresso. I only got 81 sashimi this time. I don't actually know if I can buy the goat today because I don't remember if Marnie is there on Mondays or not. Looks like not. The leak for the lovely Granny Evelyn. Thank you very much, Granny. I'm excited for the fall when I can plant beets and then I can have sugar. Oh no, I forgot the other materials that I need for the barn. Which means I won't be able to buy my goats until Wednesday. Deluxe barn. Maybe I should buy a pig before I buy a goat. Or maybe I could actually buy them both on Wednesday. Oh, I think I'm done befriending Demetrius. Nice. Nice. Jody taught me how to make ice cream. Yes, Gus. Gus is the best friend to have. I don't know that I've ever actually seen this cutscene. Welcome to clothing therapy. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shells a bit. Yeti, um... I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. Oh, I, I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats, Yeti. No, Clint! I'm not trying to date Emily. We're just friends. I just needed her recipes and cloth and wool. That's so sad. I love Clint and Emily together. I need 16,000 more dollars so that I can buy the pig. Get to sell a bunch of stuff that we've never sold before, so that's pretty exciting. Cheese cauliflower, maki roll, hash browns, we've sold algae soup, we've sold chowder, we get to sell Autumn's Bounty, more sashimi, and some spaghetti. Oh, and of course the triple shot espresso. Perfect. 16,800. Cheese collie actually sells really nicely. That is interesting. On the wiki it says that it sells for $300, but here it sells for $360. Perfect. And that'll be my pig money. Beautiful coffee ready. Since cheese cauliflower sells so well, maybe I should buy some more cauliflower. Although, will it grow in time? I would have needed to plant the cauliflower seeds yesterday if I wanted them to grow in time. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh no! I was like, what seeds are going in place of the things that I'm picking? Like, there's all these new fresh seeds and then I realized I was holding a coffee bean. So I just planted a few um, coffee seeds accidentally. Oh well, it'll be okay. My piggly wiggly. Tomorrow and the day after, regardless of the luck, I am going to the desert so that I can gift Sandy. The little pig is so tiny. There we go. It's a nice little spot for them. Oh no! Today is Pam's birthday. Uh, shoot. There's no way she's still at the bar, is there? Oops. Um, oh well. We'll figure those two guys out later. No. <gasps> there she is! Yes! Caught her just in time. You are welcome. And now we're at 9 out of 10. Yes. That should be all the hearts that we need with Pam. Nice. Pam taught me to make stuffing. Oh good. My animals wound up teleporting into the barn. So that's a bonus. 3 out of 10 with Sandy, so that's not bad. We don't have a ton of money to lose tonight, so that's a good thing. Alrighty, let's do this thing. Probably not going to push too hard because I don't think I'll wind up getting very low. Then again, I got a 3 level floor right off the hop. Did I say 3 level floor? I meant to say 3 level hole. Ooh, another hole. Nice. I'm not loving the layout of- oh, there's a freebie. Every time. I don't come with a ladder, and I'm like, oh, I hit an infested floor, and it would be really nice to have a staircase with me right now. Don't even have enough stone to make a staircase. 
have to spend way too much time on these like little slimies on this floor. We did it though. <gasps> Spicy eel. Very nice. I'm actually just gonna chow down on that puppy right now. Nice, another one. Another infested floor? This is not my favorite. I do get to kill some pepper rexes though. Provided they don't kill me first. Can we just do like one at a time? No dino eggs, hey? Crazy. Yep. That wasn't actually even that bad. Ah, oh, that guy got me good though. But no eggs. That's a little bit sad. Might wind up just needing to buy a rabbit. Ooh, a ruby. Wonderful. Ah, this is where I leave it, I think. Had a pretty good run in Skull Caverns today, though. Be back tomorrow, because I need to gift Sandy again. But I need to find Shane. So that's a little bit of a conundrum. Ooh, I could maybe go and see Gus right now. Although I think he closes at midnight. Because then I could... What could I do? Oh yeah, I could buy a spaghetti for Shane for tomorrow. And then just find him in the morning. No. Okay, well. That plan doesn't work. Just have to come back from Skull Caverns early enough to give Shane a birthday present. Alrighty. Combat level 7. Okay, another pyramid day. Not bad, not bad. Oh. Oh, I forgot to feed the chickens yesterday, I think. Oops. So they will all be mad at me. Try to leave Skull Caverns around 10 tonight. The whole reason I come here for you, Sandy. Nice, four hearts. Just need three more. Whoops. Well, I wasn't trying to give her the milk. Oh, I think Sandy gave me some milk. That was very nice of you. Thank you, Sandy. I'm not gonna have money to buy Shayna spaghetti. Hmm. Didn't really think about that part. I think gifting him on his birthday would push me over the edge, so I do think that it's worth it. However, I don't think that I would need to give him a loved gift on his- Oh my goodness. I don't think I need to give him a loved gift today. So maybe I'll just give him a liked one. Yikes, yikes, yikes. This is just floor one. Today is not my day. There we go. There's a hole. Yes. Seven levels. Wow. Wowza. Ooh, and a diamond. Mm, let's kill these pepper wrecks. There we go. There's my dino egg. Now we can go. Oh, dang it. I should have saved my thing. Well, let's go see Shane. Pepper poppers, pizza, beer, and hot pepper. I do not think I quite have enough money to buy the pizza, though. I think it's 200. Oh, wow, I got four rubies today. That's not bad. Oh, I got two dino eggs. Sweet. That means I can donate one and incubate one. I have a peach. Let's give them a peach. Oh, spaghetti is 240, so I was quite a bit off. Pizza's 600. Beer is 400. Oh well. Still got him up to 7 out of 8, and that's all that we needed. So we have Shane finished. I think we have Pam finished. Yep, Pam finished. So it's looking like we just need. Oh, is Jody finished as well? Looking like we just need Pierre, Sandy, and Kent, who I can access currently. Oh, I guess I haven't talked to Carolyn or Demetrius for a while. Their friendship is sliding. Pierre, Sandy, and Kent are the last three I have to work on until I can access Leo. Sell one triple shot espresso in case I need to go to the desert tomorrow. Queen of Sauce Day. Complete breakfast. Nice. Oh, stop it. 
I need to remember not to carry coffee beans around when I'm near plantable tilts. Plantable tilled spots. Is this from Shane? <gasps> Strange fun! Okay, I'm gonna set up another cookout kit because Pierre wants a sashimi and I am fresh out. And I have enough coffee that I think it'll make it worth it. Wait a minute. Can I make all of the things for the complete breakfast? And how much does that sell for? It's 350. Fried egg, milk, hash browns, pancakes. I don't think I have the sugar to make the pancakes as the thing. I do have a ton of eggs, which is good. Because I will need it. Sure, let's make like 14 chowder. Nice, 26 triple shot espresso. Yeah, I guess I could spare a sashimi for Pierre. I think the next thing will be a coop upgrade. Because I think I will just have to buy a rabbit and get a foot that way. I need $20,000 for the big coop. What I also should do is um, donate to the museum so that I can potentially get the key for the sewers because that would be really nice. I should check if I even have the key for the sewers already because it wouldn't surprise me if I did. About time you asked me like two hours ago. Oh, a thousand dollars. Nice. Thank you, Pierre. Let's see, where does that put us with him? That's over the threshold. We're done with Pierre. Sandy, Kent, and Leo. And one more. There we go. Okay, so I cannot get into the sewers yet, and I think I need to donate a fair few things more to the mines before I can. Sorry, uh, I need to donate a fair few things more to the museum before I can get into the sewers. Maybe I should sell some stuff so that I have money to open geodes. See if I can get to Robins before she closes. If I didn't live in a maze. Deluxe coop, please. Might be able to swing into piers if I can make it. And then I'll sell my triple shot espresso to buy those crops and have some money to process geodes. Come on, Pierre, don't walk away. Ooh, made it. Okay, I want a bunch of kale. Let's go with 50. I need four vinegar. There we go. That gives me a little bit left over to process geodes. Today is a good day to plant because it's raining. Okay, so that was not bad. I have six extra kale. I'm really wondering if I should leave the coffee beans that I've planted all over. Mm, it'd probably be fine. I thought Pierre was supposed to send me a recipe yesterday. Mmm, Pierre. Nice, we started getting goat's milk. Just need to wait till I get a large one. I guess if we were to get a rabbit, that also might solve our wool problem. So, maybe it is worth it to just bite the bullet and get one. Okay. Today is a geode processing day. I wonder if it bothers Jody that like her husband gets home and I just all of a sudden start showering him with gifts. Let's go donate some stuff. Sweet, I didn't have the petrified slime or whatever that thing is. The thunder egg or the green star. Okay, I'm gonna go sell this sashimi to Pierre because I think I will need more than what I have to process these geodes. The reason I'm trying to donate stuff to the museum is so that I can get into the sewers. Because in the sewers, I can meet Krobus, and Krobus will sell me a void egg. And I need a void egg to make void mayonnaise. I'll probably use the void egg to make a void chicken so that I can get more void eggs. Um, what did I come here for? Oh yeah, just to sell my sashimi. Now I've got lots of money to process geodes. That's not bad out of nine geodes. I think I got four new things, so that's not bad. I'm gonna process these magma geodes now. Switching between them because there's different things that you can get from different geodes. So I feel like it'll be more likely for me to get a new thing if I open the various different kinds of geodes. Okay, let's go donate these things and then see where we're at. Lots of new rewards today. Okay, I have 65 things donated. As far as I know, that's enough. But I'm not, like, super confident about that. Okay, when my coop is done, I'll buy a rabbit. So I probably need to sell some more triple shot espresso for that. And I'll throw my dino egg in, just because I like having a dinosaur on the farm. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to go and see Krobus about a void egg. I guess let's go get some more bug meat. Because that is the thing I am perpetually running out of. 
This was a really good bug floor, my goodness, nice. And a ruby to top it all off, excellent. The dark sword. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. It's vampiric? Cool. That's pretty awesome. Let me try that thing out. It's slow. Is that like a really rare drop? Oh, nice! And a dark highlight shirt. Cool. That's pretty dope. So this sword does 30 to 45 damage. It has minus 50, sorry, minus five speed, plus two crit chant, plus five weight, and it's vampiric. I don't think I've ever seen that sword before. Yeah, so it's not sold anywhere, and you can only get it, I think, from killing these skulls. I don't know what the drop chance is. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I was looking it up, and this dark sword is actually a pretty rare drop. Um, and I probably didn't give it the justice that it deserved for the, the amazingness that it is to find it. Unfortunately, we do already have the galaxy sword, which makes it obsolete, but it is a pretty, pretty cool thing, especially to have vampiric before I can even have any other enchantments. Star drop day, so I will go to skull caverns. Oh, nice. This is what I was wanting. Good morning, Miss Yeti. Good morning, Sir Gunther. Hope it's not too early. Just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contribution to the field. It's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been se sealed in the museum vault for at least a hundred years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. Got the rusty key. Thank you, Gunther. We only have five days left in spring. That's kind of crazy. Oh, tomorrow's the flower dance. I think I could actually even dance with somebody tomorrow. Be cool if Sandy was a marriageable candidate. Nice! Level 10 farming. Befriend coop animals quicker or befriend barn animals quicker. I'm gonna go with coop master because when I get my rabbit, I'll be able to befriend it quicker. And I think it has a higher likelihood of dropping me stuff if I'm better friends with it. Oh nice, and I leveled up in mining. Sweet, I can make the mega bomb. And I leveled up in combat, and now I can make explosive ammo. Flower dance today. So we have four days in which we need to buy the apple tree and plant it so that it has all summer to grow. Then I will start producing apples right at the beginning of fall. We also will need money for our summer crops in the next four days and uh, money for our rabbit. I wish Sandy would come to the flower dance. Like after you meet her and fix the bus and stuff, that would be pretty cool. Aw, ask her to dance with you, Clint. Oh, I actually even need the dwarf translation guide because I'm gonna need to buy a recipe from that dwarf in the um, volcano mines. So it's a good thing I got that last scroll that I needed. I need to up my combat and mining twice more, so I'm just gonna go to the normal mines today. It's star drop day. Could go to Skull Caverns. <laughs> my name's not really Sandy, you know. It's just good for business. Not a bad mines day at all. Got some food to sell, some ores and such. Guess it wasn't really the mines, more Skull Caverns. Oh nice, leveled up in mining. I can now make crystallarium. Today is a get my farm ready for summer day. A truffle! Yay, good job, piggy. Alright, the last day of summer. And I, of course, mean um, spring. The last day of spring. We will definitely be setting up a cookout kit tonight. So I might even just do that right now. Make all the triple shot espresso. Guys, I just realized we totally have access to the sewers and we have not even gone yet. Maybe we'll have to do that yet before the video ends. So spring like kind of has just been a little bit of grindy stuff. Like we haven't really done anything. We haven't really done anything like huge, but we've gotten a lot of like in between stuff that we needed to get done. Animals are being loud. 
We bought our pig, which allowed us to get a truffle. We bought our goat, if I can, there he is. We got our goat and our large goat's milk. Perfect. We fenced in our uh, animals so they can't just go wandering. We got to seven hearts with Demetrius and Louis and Jody and Emily and Pierre and Pam and Shane. We started befriending Kent and I think we started befriending Sandy as well. We've made it to five hearts with Sandy and four hearts with Kent. Gonna go see Pierre and I'm gonna sell 20 triple shot espresso today so that I can buy the apple tree. Sell 20 for 9,000. Buy the apple sapling for 4,000. That's so funny. I can just like buy back the food that Pierre, that I sold to Pierre. I basically just turned Pierre into Gus. The other thing I'm gonna do that we have accomplished um, during the spring. So we got the sewer key. So I'm gonna go down there and take a visit to Krobus. Unlock the sewer with the rusty key. Hello, my little shadow friend. Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Sorry, still a little weary of humans. My shop is still open, however. Thank you. It's crazy to me that a void egg is $5,000, but we've been sitting around for a while and none of our eggs have become void. I mean, granted, they haven't been sitting on the ground for a while, but I'm just going to go for it. We need some void mayonnaise, so I don't think we can get in over here yet. Yeah, there's a force field blocking our path. I think we need to talk to the wizard before we can do that. Oh, let's go check the cart. Before we do that, let's put a couple of things in our community center. We only have the bulletin board left to do of the community center. And we can... Oh, that's not true at all. I just lied to you. Okay, so we need to get a fiddlehead fern in the spring and then the chef's bundle is done. And a red cabbage, sorry, in the summer. Fiddlehead fern in the summer, red cabbage in the summer, and then the chef's bundle is done. We also have um, this crafts room. No, this isn't the crafts room. What room is the The pantry. We have to finish off the animal bundle. But we actually could do that because I have a duck egg back home. We'll see. I might turn that duck egg into a duck. Oh, I was trying to go see Gunther. That's what I was doing down there. The last scroll and we'll get the Dwarvish translation guide. I actually don't know what the fastest way to get to the cart lady is. She's probably about the furthest away from anywhere right now. Yeah, nothing here that I really need. All right, we're gonna come in here and plant our apple sapling. Should grow by the end of the summer. And come in here, incubate my void egg. Okay, let's think about what else we did this summer. Um, we got like a couple of runs into Skull Caverns, but we didn't actually get anything from those really. Um, overnight tonight, I need to sell enough to buy all of the crops that I want to buy tomorrow. And so I need about $8,300 for that. I need to buy a couple of red cabbage. Well, I want to buy a bunch of red cabbage, a couple of poppies, a bunch of hot pepper and corn and tomatoes and melons. And then I also want to buy the rabbit for 8,000. So all together tonight, when I wake up, I would like to have made like $16,000 overnight. Make a couple of lucky lunch, a couple more triple shot espresso, some roots platter, some pale broth. And then back to the good old sashimi. Oh, I don't think I have a ton of cheese. I have a bit. I could make some cheese collie. Okay. <clears throat> that is a decent amount of stuff that I can sell right here. And I want to come up with $16,300. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, another thing that I should mention is that we are at... $233,295 to date, which is really not bad for only selling food products. Once I get access to sugar, I'll really be making the money. Let's see. Nice, we made 19260 Once again, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. This spring was incredible, even though it's just little bits of stuff here and there getting done. I feel like we're really making strides towards our end goal of cooking every single recipe while not selling anything other than cooked food. If you've enjoyed, 
please feel free to join me next time and I hope that you have an awesome day.